Let's learn how to use the model builder in ArcGIS. So the model builder is going to be a way for us to automate processes. So if we've got some analysis that we want to repeat a whole bunch of times or some analysis that's really complicated and you're going to kind of lose track of what you've done if you don't have some way to kind of record your steps. Uh, it's also a way for you to share analysis um, procedures with other people either by sending them your toolbox or by publishing a model on the web which is way beyond the scope of what we're going to do here in this little video. So I've got ArcMap up and I've added some data sets that I want to do some analysis with. So I've got uh, a pipeline corridor and all the streams for Wisconsin and I want to select a subset of those streams and then identify the crossings so where that pipeline crosses these major streams. So let's come with an analysis tool that does that. So we'll do this in two steps. The first I'll show you how to create a model and in the second video we'll um, uh, actually uh, add all the analysis tools and data for this. So in order to create an empty model for us to work with we need to first create a toolbox. So I'm going to go to the catalog pane in Arc Map. I can uh, click on here to get to that. And um, as long as I've saved my map, I'll see a home folder here. And I'm going to create a toolbox in the same folder where I've got my other data sets that I'm using here. So I've already got one that I've created, but we'll just do that again. So I'm going to right click on this folder and say New Toolbox. Now notice there's a Python toolbox and a regular toolbox. Um, the Python toolbox is just for Python and coding that we'll leave uh, and not use for now. So I'm going to create a new toolbox and I'm just going to leave the name default for there. Now if I click the plus here and try to open the toolbox there's nothing in there so I need to actually create a blank model so I'm going to right click again and say new model. So now I've got a blank model and generally the first thing you want to do is is kind of set this up for saving and we want to give it a different name besides model. So we're going to go to model, find model properties, and then give it a wonderful name here. Uh, let's see, we'll call this stream crossing or crossing. And this is, will be what it gets saved as in that toolbox. So now I'll hit save and like with most things in arc, save often and therefore you won't lose stuff. Now the next thing I want to do for this model is start adding stuff to it. Um, and quite simply the way that you add things to models, you're going to add two different types of things. You're going to add data sets and you're going to add tools and you're going to connect those together. So well, let's look at how that would work. The simplest way is just to drag and drop. So I want to use both these data sets over here. So if I just grab one and drop it into my model now I've got two data sets that I can do things with. And um, to get a tool, kind of the easiest way to do that is to find a tool and then drag that tool in there. So I'm going to go up again to my tool, my, my panes here in ArcMap, and I'm going to grab the search pane, switch to tools, and then grab a tool that I want to use. So for the, for the streams, I was going to select a subset. So um, I can type select here and see what tools I've got as an option. So I've got select, select by attribute. In this case, I just want to create a temporary in memory layer. So I'm going to select layer by attribute. I'm going to drag that tool in here. So this is how I'm going to add both um, data sets and tools. And kind of the, the last step to creating models is to connecting these up. So notice the different colors here. So I've got um, uh, circles for my data sets and I've got rounded um, squares or rectangles for the tools. Um, and so I can see that this tool is going to create a new data set called output layer name. Uh, and it's empty, it's not filled in, meaning that it needs some additional information before it can be run. So if I connect by using this connect tool, click on this data set here and drag to my tool, it'll allow me to use that data set and that tool. So I've got some options here. It, the only thing that's valid is that this could be a layer name or table view that gets added. So once I've done that, it's now um, complete. So let's pause here before we create all this tool, this whole tool, and now we've got the ability to create a model and add both data sets and tools to it. Thanks.